Remember your first kiss? You were excited, nervous, and feeling every emotion possible. And geez, weren't you worried you were going to screw everything up? Is it just the thrill of the first kiss, or is there more to it? What's the actual science behind kissing? Let's talk about where humans got the idea that pressing lips together is the ultimate way to say I love you. Basically, there are two main wild theories. First, it all goes back to when we were babies. The reason why humans instinctively love that lip-to-lip -lip contact is due to breastfeeding, and about the whole mother-baby bond. We don't need to go into detail there. Surprisingly, somehow, humans took that idea and ran with it. Now partners lock lips to create that same deep connection. Second theory is that mothers of our ancient ancestors pre-chewed food for their babies and transferred it directly into their mouths. Something called premastication food transfer. And hey, who wouldn't want their romantic connection to be as deep as that mother-baby bond? It seems that kissing is somehow connected with the mother-baby bond. Maybe this is why women put a higher emphasis on kissing than men do. Well, evolutionary psychologist Dr. Susan Hughes noted that 90% of women would not have sex with a man without first kissing him, whereas only 50% of men kept the same rule. This is because male saliva contains testosterone, a hormone in short supply in females. Just a few male testosterone molecules raises women's libido, readying that passionate scene for intimacy. This may also be because of their evolutionary role as mate selector, being the one pursued as opposed to having to pursue. But if kissing has an evolutionary purpose, why don't we see more animals kissing? Believe it or not, one reason we might lean in for a kiss is to give them a good sniff. Animals have a far more sophisticated sense of smell than we do, so they don't have to be nearly as close. Your partner's scent can tell you all sorts of juicy details, if they're sick, their mood, and even how closely related they are to you. The Gottman couples were the ones who figured this out with their really disgusting experiment, making women smell the sweaty shirts of men. Brother, ugh. But the results of this experiment were clear. Women found that the sweaty shirts of men who were genetically different from them to be sexier over those shirts of men who had a similar genetic code to them. That happened because it's evolutionary better for you to have a kid with someone genetically different. If you have similar genetic code, it's more likely to have incest. This maximizes the chances of activating bad genes in future generations. Now let me ask something random. Remember what you had for breakfast yesterday? Do you remember your first kiss though? Yeah? You're not alone. Over 90% of lovers can pinpoint exactly where and when it occurred. But why? Before that first kiss even happens, your eyes start sending signals to your brain and setting the stage for something epic going on next. As you get closer, you'll notice your potential partner tilting their head either to the right or left. 66% of people naturally tilt to the right, making it the right choice for a first kiss. Assuming that epic happens, the first time your lips touch someone else's, your brain goes into overdrive. Tens of billions of nerve cells responsible for touch, hearing, sight, smell, and taste start firing rapidly throughout your body. Then as the phrase goes, one thing leads to another. As the kiss heats up, blood vessels expand, allowing more oxygen to the brain. Your breathing becomes deeper and irregular, and your pupils dilate, perhaps explaining why many lovers instinctively close their eyes. At some point, tongue contact is almost inevitable. It's usually initiated by the male. When it happens, your tongue, with its 9,000 taste buds, lets you sample your partner's unique flavor, and all that just in one kiss. But how? It's all thanks to the three main hormones your brain releases when you lock lips. Dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. The combination of these three chemicals work by lighting up the pleasure centers in our brain. That first passionate kiss, it sends dopamine levels soaring, making you think, I want more of this. If you can keep the kissing game strong, it might even make your relationship stronger. A 2013 study found that couples who kissed often were more satisfied with their partners. And hey, the minute you start obsessing over your partner after that first kiss, blame serotonin for that. This second happy hormone doesn't just regulate your mood, it's also responsible for those non-stop thoughts about your new love interest. Now, when the initial rush of dopamine fades, your brain releases oxytocin, the love hormone. Oxytocin is even more powerful than cocaine. POWER BABY! It acts as a neurotransmitter and plays a crucial role in promoting affection and attachment. That's why a kiss, a hug, or even a gentle touch can keep those love flames burning strong. Women feel this hormone in labor and releasing breast milk, while men feel it when they bust a nut. The release of oxytocin makes you feel more relaxed. Also, in the Journal of Neuroscience, it suggested that it was oxytocin that was responsible for promoting fidelity and monogamous relationships. It makes men view their partners as more attractive than other women, ultimately letting your offspring experience two loving partners. 
Now, don't underestimate the videos that teach you how to kiss for the first time, because it's literally a thing that a kiss can make or break your chances of getting romantically with your partner. So before wrapping up this video, let me share a few tips to help you become the best kisser possible. First up, for both men and women, pay attention to how your partner is tilting their head, and tilt in the opposite direction. And to make it truly memorable, start slow. Begin with a gentle soft kiss, don't rush into anything deeper. Let the moment unfold naturally so you can both savor the experience. Now onto hand placement, the game changer. For a woman, place your hands on your partner's shoulders. For men, gently hold her waist. Don't move around too much initially. The aim is to create intimacy without overwhelming each other. Now, if your brain is buzzing with all those feel-good hormones and you want to keep things going, drop some subtle cues. Touch their arm or move in a little closer. Let them know you're enjoying every second. And finally, learn when to pull away from a kiss. When pulling away from a kiss, don't be abrupt, be gentle and soft, give her a little smile, then snuggle with her. If there's silence, just embrace it and appreciate the moment. This is called aftercare and it shows her that you really care about her and you aren't just there for the hookup. So comment down when and where your first kiss occurred, I'ma tell you about mine in the future.